2023 again, so I thought it would be a perfect time to do a 2023 updated Noel build guide. We're going to be tackling everything from talent selection to artifacts, weapons, characters, and more. Genshin's has been out for a couple of years now. Like I said, it's 2023. So let's tackle some misconceptions about Noel's kit so you guys have all of the information necessary going into this guide. First thing that you see when you go through Noel's kit is that she scales a lot off of defense, sweeping time, breastplate, normal attack. How do all of these things work together? So when you activate sweeping time, which is what everyone's going to be building around from new player to all the way up to experienced player, it works this way. It's going to convert a portion of your defense and it's going to give you attack for that. So you can see C6 sweeping time talent level 13. It's going to give me 85% of my defense when activated and it's going to give me that as bonus attack. This does not mean that Noel only scales off defense. Attack is a semi-important stat that you can use as part of the damage calculation, but a lot of the times you're going to be focused end game on buffing up your defense stat because, well, if you take a look at Noel's base stats, even with her best weapon in the game, Red Hone Stone Thresher, you take a look at her base attributes and you can see my base attacks only 733 while my base defense is 799. So your base defense is actually higher. So once you get to level 90, which is a very important thing for you to do on Noel because it's the only way to actually increase that base defense stat. Well, you're gonna be focusing mainly on defense over attack in your build. However, skills that scale off of your attack aren't utterly wasted. This little distinction is very important to keep in mind as we go over some of the weapons that you can use on her all the way up to max level. But that's something that we're going to talk about a little bit later in the video. Another misconception that you might see also involves sweeping time, and that's that Noelle's damage is actually elemental burst damage. That is not true at all. The only thing that scales off of things that buff elemental burst damage on Noelle is the two hits that come out as you activate sweeping time. The rest of the damage that you're doing, that actual damage multiplier, does come from the talent level of your normal talent level. After those two initial attacks, which is the burst damage and skill damage that you see in the game on sweeping time, the damage that you're doing is actually based off of your normal attack talent level, which makes it extremely important to not just level one or the other. You need to level both of these up to get the most amount of damage from your Noel. And obviously Breastplate is gonna be one of her elemental skills. It is pretty important to level up because it's going to increase your healing trigger chance as you start the game. And it also is going to increase the barrier and healing amount that you receive from Breastplate as well, which sadly means that Noel is a very greedy maid and you need to level up every single one of these to the max level possible to get the most use out of Noel. In my opinion, as far as talent priority goes, you need to do sweeping time and her normal attack talent first, but don't forget to level up Breastplate as you go about it. If you're running low on materials to level your talents though, you can keep Breastplate and do that one last. One of the other reasons you can kind of skimp on that Breastplate level, even if maybe you're a brand new player, if you have access to Constellation 1, it's going to increase the heal proc rate of her Breastplate heal to 100% as long as you have the barrier from Breastplate and Sweeping Time active at the same time, which is pretty much the bread and butter of using Noel to just Goomba stomp monsters into oblivion. So C1 here is actually very prevalent and will give you a good significant boost. And while it's not gonna give you the bonus defense to barrier or defense to healing like leveling the actual talent itself will, it will make that heal trigger chance no longer RNG and make it 100%, which makes her a significantly stronger support and healer while being able to do a large amount of AOE damage. Now, Noel does have a lot of very good artifact sets for both new and veteran players in Genshin, and by far the best one is going to be the Husk of Opulent Dream set. The two-piece of the Husk set is going to give you 30% defense, which is going to be awesome, larger heals, larger shields, and more damage during sweeping time. And then the four-piece as well is going to allow us to gain stacks of increased defense and geo damage while Noelle is off the field. And while you are doing geo damage, you will be able to max these stacks out as well. Traditionally, when using the Opulent Dream Set, what you're going to want to do is get the first four stacks automatically from Noelle being off the field. That way, when you activate sweeping time, you will already have 
all four stacks for the max defense and geo damage bonus and you'll be able to maintain those maximum stacks from just doing damage with the geo damage from sweeping time it's very important to get all four of these stacks first because like we talked about with sweeping time the defense you have at the moment you activate sweeping time is what the game looks at when giving you the bonus attack it won't change until you activate sweeping time again or this duration on sweeping time expires now another set to look at is going to be the retracing bolide set the two piece here gives you 35 percent shield strength which is going to increase the shield strength that noelle is going to receive from her own barrier on her elemental skill as long as she is the active character because this two piece only works for the person equipping the set which is fine because noelle is going to be out there skirmishing with everybody and then the four piece here is while you're protected by a shield you do 40 percent additional normal in charged attack damage which which both of these work very well with Noelle's kit. Oh, another four piece that's actually pretty good on Noelle as well, and probably the one you're gonna be able to gain access to as you're doing world bosses as a new player and leveling up, is actually the gladiator set here. Now the two piece here is gonna give us 18% attack, which isn't the greatest thing for Noel, but attack still does buff up our damage, which is why we made that important distinction that while she does have this defense to attack scaling, all of her skills still look at attack. So this is still gonna help us out a little bit in the damage department, but it doesn't increase our heals or shields at all. But the four piece here is gonna give you 35% normal attack damage, which is a very easy to use set. You can just throw it on. You're gonna do 35% more damage after you activate sweeping time and swing that laser sword around. Do note though, that this doesn't increase your charge attack damage. So if you're a fan of spinning to winning, this isn't going to do anything for the spin to win build outside of just give you 18% attack, which while okay, isn't really what we're here for. Now, while both these different four pieces are almost on top of each other for the amount of damage that they do, I'm a fan of their Tracing Bolide set. It isn't as easy to use as the Gladiator set, but I really like that 35% shield strength, and I really like the 40% charge attack damage if you're gonna be doing the spin to win to hit multiple enemies. Now, if you don't have access to either of these full four piece sets yet because they just haven't rolled that well, there is something you can do that is a sacrifice of a little bit of damage compared to the other options. And that's gonna be two pieces of the Archaic Petra set. We're gonna get 15% geo damage from that. And then you're also gonna use two pieces of the Husk of Opulent Dream set and get 30% defense from that. It's basically like using a make your own version of four piece husk because you're gonna get 15 percent geo damage and 30 percent defense instead of getting all of the stacks from the four piece husk but it is something that you can do to kind of put noel together and have fun with her in Genshin until you get any of the other four pieces that we've mentioned in the guide. Now, as far as stat priority for Noel goes, the goblet's gonna be the most important thing. And by far the geo damage goblet is what you want to get on Noel. It is better than a defense goblet, no matter what your weapon is or your team is. If you absolutely have to use a defense goblet though, it's gonna be around 10 to 12% less damage depending on what weapon you're using and what build you're doing regardless of what weapons you have. Uh, as we move into the circlets here, we really want crit chance as our circlet. Noel doesn't gain any bonus crit chance. There are a couple crit chance weapons we can get, but it's such a good stat. If you can get crit rate main, it's gonna make your life a lot easier. You could use crit damage main stat as well. Either main stat's fine, but you're gonna try to maintain that two to one crit damage to crit chance ratio. We're not trying to get 10% crit chance, 300 crit damage. We want more like 70 crit chance, 140 crit damage you know, 80 crit chance, 160 crit damage. Maintain that two to one ratio and that's gonna be the magic number for most DPS and Genshin to really get the big damage and the consistency when using them. Now moving on to Sans here, a lot of guys out there will be like, attack percent's better, defense percent's better. When you're building Noel, level 90, all things said and done, finalized build defense percent for all weapons that you're going to be using on her is going to be better so if you're spending time trying to get a sans that you're going to be using on a character to get a lot of work out of it forever defense percent is what you're aiming for as you're a new player growing up though while you're working on talent levels 
for sweeping time, talent levels for Favonius, blade work, you don't have access to Constellation 6. The math will work out that until you're talent level 9 on sweeping time, you're not going to get the most amount of damage from a defense percent sand. So until you're talent level 9, attack percent sands is technically better for explicitly damage. I would still recommend that you go out and get a defense percent sands there because that's going to increase your healing from your elemental skill as well as the shield from your elemental skill breastplate, but it's also going to give you a nice bonus shield that everyone forgets about in devotion as well, which will help you protect your other characters when Noel is in the back line and you're trying to use some of your other supports or damage dealers. This will also activate and shield them and this is also based off of Noel's defense. So while you might get a little bit more damage from having an attack percent sans until you're talent level nine or more on sweeping time, I would still recommend trying to get a good rolled defense percent main stat sans. Now, as far as substats are concerned with Noel, crit chance, crit damage, defense percent, those are all extremely valuable for you. Maintain that two to one ratio of crit chance and crit damage, pick up some defense percent as well. And then the big boogeyman, energy recharge. How much energy recharge do you need for your Noel? That's actually going to be wildly different depending on what characters you're using her with. Are you using her with characters like Raiden Shogun? Are you in a mono geo team? These geo particles and other characters that are good batteries for Noel will vastly lower the amount of energy recharge that you need on her. I'm currently running with Raiden Shogun in this build and I have no energy requirements whatsoever. I have 106 energy recharge. You want to be safe as you're starting a new Noel leveling up. Aim for 130, 140% and you'll be able to tell from then how much more energy recharge you may or may not need. Also, as you get into the big end game veteran version of Noel, well, C6 here not only is going to buff up the defense to attack ratio that you get from sweeping time, but it's going to lower your energy requirements technically because every time you defeat an enemy with sweeping time activated, it's going to add one more second to its duration, increasing it by up to 10 more seconds, meaning that sweeping time can be activated for the entire battle in a lot of situations, leaving you to gain all those particles from your defeated enemies and maintaining your sweeping time uptime and then saving the cooldown for it in the next fight. Now, there's a lot of weapon options in Genshin Impact, especially if you're a new player or you're a returning player, different event weapon claymores, different crafted claymores, but there's four big ones that you should definitely look at. And there's going to be like one other fifth one for multiplayer we'll talk about. The first one here is going to be a crafted weapon and it's the new player mainstay. It's going to be the white blind because this thing does a lot of good things for Noel. It has base defense increase of 51.7% with the ability is really what we're here for. If you hit an enemy with a normal or charge attack, you're going to get 12% attack and defense at refinement rank five. And this stacks up to four times, meaning you can get 48% attack and 48% defense at the same time. There's no crit chance or crit damage on this weapon, but you get huge offensive stats during sweeping time and huge defensive stats as well. You get larger shields, larger heals, more attack for free, and then a ton of defense, which you get to turn into even more attack, which is very, very, very nice. It does do a little bit less damage than the next one we're talking about, but it also does increase those shields and heals by a substantial margin. But do keep in mind that when you're using the white blind, you're gonna wanna get these four stacks from the white blind before you activate sweeping time. Because remember, like we talked about at the start of the video, sweeping time looks at your defense as you activate it. So you don't wanna activate sweeping time and then get defense. No, you wanna get all your defense from the infusion blade ability and then turn all of that into even more attack. Now, Noel's next weapon is going to be access to the serpent spine. This is the battle pass weapon. It's amazing. It has crit rate, so it's gonna make you easy Easy access builds for Noel. It's going to be awesome. Then it's going to give you bonus damage from the wave splitter effect. As long as you don't take damage, you're going to get the stacking bonus damage. If you're a battle pass maniac like me, you get all the way up to refinement rank five. It's going to outperform the white blind in damage. 
especially with the new artifact set of opulent dreams by quite a large margin used to be pretty close to each other with a white blind giving you additional shields and healing now the serpent spine is going to outdo it by quite a large margin and it's going to be easier for you to build you can be critting more often due to the 27 crit rate it's a good time you're going to want to learn how to dodge a little bit from time to time so you don't lose stacks with noel but you're gonna be good to go because you have those shields baby you know what's going on this is gonna be a fantastic thing for you if you want to buy the battle pass so if you want to buy the battle pass one or maybe a couple of times to level up and try out serpent spine on noel it's pretty cool but you always have the option to craft a bunch of white blinds and make this refine ring five to try her out initially and they're both good options now the best one by far is the red horn stone thresher this thing has the highest base attack of all the weapons because it's a five star it also gives 88 crit damage which is amazing it also gives you the very important refinement ability of getting a bonus damage based off of your defense during both normal and charged attacks this is awesome because it's not like the serpent spine where it gives you a damage bonus multiplier like 50 percent geo damage would no 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 this is a brand new thing it's an additional multiplier to her kit that she did not have access to before allowing you to hit very very high numbers on your noel this does also scale off your geo damage bonus your crit chance and your crit rate as well so it's a very very powerful weapon even in r1 version of this will decimate any of the other weapons we've talked about so far another weapon that's very good and the weapon i alluded to and why it's very important to know that noel doesn't technically scale off of just defense but attack as well is going to be the fact that skyward pride is pretty fun to use with her now this does give you some energy recharge so if you're going on a multiplayer you're having energy recharge issues you have access to this you should try it out but the refinement ability is pretty nice as well so it's gonna give you 14 percent at r4 here bonus damage to everything that you do but on top of that it's also going to give you this little vacuum blaze so when you activate your elemental burst you're going to get up to eight of these extra vacuum blade attacks that are going to be able to crit and that's going to be based off your crit damage and it's also going to have an attack multiplier now noel can get to very high attack stats so this is going to hit pretty dang hard now it's not going to hit as hard as the red hone stone threshers because this one will be converted into geo damage and benefit from that geo damage whereas the skyward pride just kind of hangs out and stays and well it's physical damage now speaking of multiplayer if you're doing multiplayer the favonia's great swords an actual monster for her in almost a necessity if you're doing one character multiplayer because she is very awful at generating particles for herself and this is going to give you extra particle generation extra recharge you're going to take a massive hit in damage compared to a lot of the other weapons but you'll have the access to actually using the character you're trying to use in multiplayer as well so check out the favonius great sword not the greatest sword for her but still a contender if you're a multiplayer aficionado as far as constellations go they're all amazing for noel none of them are absolutely necessary the first one though does remove that rng from her healing kit that we talked about if you gain access to that you'll have a lot more fun with her as a support the other ones though they're all good as well we all know c6 making her the big damage maid everyone's here for but access to that as well as c4 which is to be cleaned when your shield breaks a 400 percent attack mod as geo damage is also very nice her worst one by far is combat maid which reduces your charge attack stamina consumption and gives you a little bit more charge attack damage while not the worst thing ever also not the best thing ever so it's the worst one here the other ones three and five we know this already you're getting extra levels to both your elemental skill and your burst sadly c5 is the extra three levels to the elemental burst meaning that she does have a lot of power in her c5 plus c6 constellation when talking about her as a main damage dealer now that you can't run her as one before then but once you get these you're gonna see quite a bit of damage difference compared to before. Now, when we're going into characters we want to use with Noelle, one of the things that we definitely want to take note and focus on is 
their ability to generate elemental particles so we can use sweeping time with Noelle's elemental burst. And this is gonna be characters that can use Pavonius weapons very well, characters that are Geo, characters that are named Raiden Shogun also work quite well. But the first one that we're gonna be going over is going to be my current favorite four-star Geo character is Yunjin, because Yunjin can do something like the Red Horn Stone Thresher can do with her ability Cliff Breaker's Banner, which is gonna add yet another damage multiplier to Noelle's normal damage talent. This is gonna be based off of Yunjin's own defense though, but it still will use the crit damage and Geo damage bonus that Noel has. And this is where you're gonna be able to see 50, 60, 70, 100,000 damage hits in some circumstances on certain abyss floors with certain buffs and other characters on your Noel. And it's a very awesome thing to see one little not knight, not Pavonius worth made go into the abyss and absolutely trounce everything without taking a single point of damage to her HP bar. Yunjin's one of those characters that is fantastic with so many of these underrated underdog normal attacking characters like Noelle that she's super awesome to use with her. And you can pick her up for free from the Leeway Lantern Rite Festival this patch at 3.4. Now, my other favorite four star Geo character to use with Noelle is Goro. And that's because he does everything that we already talked about. He's pretty easy to build, so you can put the Favonius Warbo on him, generate Geo particles, generate the extra windfall particles from this weapon on your Noel. That's nice already to help battery Noel. He also can boost up Noel's damage because he has the ability to boost up Geo damage as well as defense for everyone in your party. Seems good. I like it already. He also is another Geo character, so with him in Noel, you're gonna activate Geo Resonance for even more damage and shield strength. They're a pretty powerful combo, even at Constellation Zero. And that was just these two skills. He also has an ascension to increase your defense of party members by 25%. So you're gonna get the defense flat, the Geo damage bonus here, as well as 25% additional defense on Noel, just from him using some skills and being in your party at Constellation Zero. And then you can get a little bit more damage from him if you get them all the way to C6, because you're gonna be able to give Geo characters 40% more crit damage for free. It's not gonna make you double your damage or anything and for a c6 it's actually pretty tame the amount of damage you're going to get constellation to power level wise from a character in genshin impact don't be afraid to run him at c0 with noel you're gonna have a good time he's gonna battery you and do everything you want to do with that partnership of goro and noel now another one of the old stay standards for noel to combo with is gonna be ningguang here and that's because ningguang can do a couple of things he'll be a damage buffer but also a damage dealer as well because jade screen does do damage can block projectiles a couple of them to help you with that defensive orientation but it also is going to give bonus damage to people who walk through the jade screen which can be your noel you throw it down walk through pop sweeping time do a bunch of good stuff free bonus damage is pretty good it's not the full 15 like goro gives and it doesn't boost your defense but it's still 12 percent geo damage so while not as supportive as yunjin or goro is for noel you still have a little bit of support from the jade screen but you do get a lot more damage in ningguang than you would in the other two another non-standard character that i love running with noel is actually gonna be raiden shogun because she batteries like crazy and this is how i'm able to run my energy recharge so low on my Noel. We have Raiden Shogun, who's gonna come out, do a bunch of damage with Secret Art Musou Shensetsu, and then we are going to go back in and use Sweeping Time. And we kind of just flop back and forth between Raiden Shogun doing all the damage, and Noel doing all the damage, and he'll one up and protecting and back and forth and back and forth with two supports in the party. And it's a sight to behold. I love it. It's one of my most favorite teams to play in Genshin. And I kind of have a hard problem not playing that team because it makes everything so easy. Another potent Geo character to use with Noel is going to be Zhongli. Could be a little bit overkill with the shield strength from having Zhongli and Noel in your party at the same time. But if you want the Geo Resonance, you don't want to mess with the other ones. He's very good as well, because not only do you get a backup shielder or even a main shielder in the form of Zhongli, but you're going to get the 20% reduction to physical Geo Resist, all of that stuff as well, boosting up your Noel damage. And you're also going to have Resonant Waves, which is going to increase the amount of shield strength that your Noel is 
receiving while out there doing all the damage with Zhongli shield on. So it's a very, very difficult and tanky team for enemies to get through. And it's one of the mainstays for some of the Geo Noel teams in Genshin Impact, especially if you want to be like super lazy and fall asleep with all these shields on. And then obviously Albedo, we can't forget this guy as a five star Geo character. You throw down his elemental skill, you do free damage, you pop his elemental burst, you do more damage. He randomly generates geo particles. It's all good. Free damage, a little bit of support, a little bit of particle generation, all in the background while Noel's in the field doing all of the rest of the damage and being the actual hyper carry for your party. Look into him. I like him a lot. He's pretty dang good. And while Noelle doesn't really have a whole lot of elemental reactions she can take advantage of, you can also try her out with Yelan as well because you're going to take advantage of her ascension adapt with ease, which is going to increase your damage bonus even further. So you can combine this damage bonus with someone like Yunjin in the Red Horn Stone Thresher and get all these extra bonus damages added onto your normal attack damage and really have that damage bonus hit the ceiling in Genshin Impact. It's a sight to behold. I know you might want to use her in some other teams, but you can try her out with Noel every once in a while. I think you're going to like it a lot if you do. If there's a build or a weapon or a team composition that you're using out there and you want to throw it down below, go ahead and do so. Start a conversation. We're all here to have fun and learn and do a bunch of cool stuff while we're playing Genshin Impact. If you want to see more stuff like this, come back, hit that subscribe button. For 2023, we're doing a lot of cool stuff. New player guides, old guides, all that stuff's coming back. So check it out down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.